All right, hey everyone. I'm going to show you how to use uh, a Stream Deck to uh, change the key on a Waves Tune Live running SoundGrid server. All right, so uh, first, thanks to my buddy David from Abundant Life uh, who showed me how to do this. Um, second thing, this is a pretty limited setup because um, essentially you only have we're going to use these user keys that are essentially hot keys for the computer. So uh, when you press one of these buttons um, on the keyboard, it recalls some kind of user key. Um, and we only have 16 of those. So we're a little limited there. You can only do 16. So we um, will have to change this from week to week. All right, right now I'm going to dump these in. Right now we're only using um, 10 of them. So I'm just... Uh, naming or numbering these now if you wanted to use the other 16 or the other um, six you would have to come up with some kind of similar number for them all right so here's how we're going to start this is in uh, setup and then uh, right here is our user key so that's our kind of our first step now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over uh, to our overview and we're going to come to our Waves Live stuff and we're going to turn it off. Alright, so right now I'm only running four channels of, of uh, vocals. We don't use them all every week, but essentially we run four channels of live, of Waves Tune. So I'm going to save those. I mean, I'm going to turn those off now I'm going to come over to show and I'm going to save a new snapshot so I'm going to hit save or new I mean I'm going to call this off and I'm going to hit OK now this uh, scope right now is set to record everything and everything and I don't want it to so I'm going to turn all of them off and I'm only going to turn on the first four channels and I'm going to come back and look over here in overview, and I can see that my Waves uh, Live, Waves Tune Live is on plugin f 7. So I'm going to come back over here to show on that, and I want my scope to only be plugin 7. So I'm only recalling the first four channels, only, uh, only plugin 7, and I'm going to go ahead and store that. Now I'm going to come back in here to my Waves 2 and Live stuff. I'm going to turn these back on, and I'm going to make sure it is set to chromatic. Come back in here. I'm going to save a new snapshot. I'm going to call this chromatic. Once again, I only want the first four channels, and I only want plugin seven to be recalled. All right, now for the next step of that. Now, what I would do later on is I'm going to go and make one of each of the keys that I that I want to recall. You know, and they'll they may change from week to week depending on what the band is doing. Now we're going to go back to setup. And essentially, this is how we're going to tell the keyboard to look for that function. Okay, so we're going to go into settings. And then we're going to come over here to user assigned keys. So our first key, which is back again, we have 16 of them. That's where we saw that earlier. We patched that in. And we want to recall a snapshot. We got two choices here. And the first one is going to be off. And then our second one is going to be recall snapshot. And it's going to be chromatic. All right, now. Back over here, when we press the number one, it should turn our Waves, tune t waves Live Tune stuff off. There we go. We press the number two. It puts it in the chromatic scale. All right, now let's jump over to Stream Deck. So I've already got Stream Deck installed. I'm just going to uh, open Configure. And here we go. All right, so our first button here. I'm going to go to system, 
Um, there we go, get rid of that. So that makes a little more sense. Uh, down here we have a hotkey right here. And this is essentially a button push for whatever the Stream Deck is plugged into. So I'm going to change this logo, make it a little prettier. I just want a straight black. And I'm going to name it Off. And just because I can. It's already big. Okay. So now on our button. This says, let's little focus off. Now let's hop in, uh, let's go ahead and do the second button. So once again, we're gonna drag in a hotkey. I'm gonna name this Chromo. Let's just name it Chrome, that way it fits my box a little better. All right, so now we've got off and chromatic. Now we'll come back in here to waves and we'll theoretically, if I click, let's look at all of them. If I click off, oh, got a yellow box. All right, what do we do wrong here? Oh, I didn't assign the hotkey to do anything. The hotkey is going to be the number pad, and it's going to be the number pad one. Chromatic, right, was number pad two. Now, let's try that again. Oops. All right, so when I click the off button, they turn off. When I click the chromatic button, it turns them on and puts them in the chromatic. Obviously, you can repeat this for as many snaps shots as you want, for as many keys as you have, up to 16. Assign them here for your 16 buttons, for keyboard buttons, and then assign your stream deck to press that keyboard button. All right, hopes that helps.